Hello and welcome back to the Nasty Metal Production Channel here at YouTube. Welcome to another album review. And for this album review, I am reviewing is Battle Raiders' second album. Well, titled Battle Raider. Um, before I get into the album and we get into the band, Battle Raider are a, of course, a Mexican a metal band, a kind of almost like a progressive uh, metal kind of thing. Almost uh, like Fate's Warning or... Uh, Early Queens Reich, or even at times, uh, maybe Crimson Glory, maybe at times, but it, it, it's like I think Fate's Warning is definitely one of the few bands I can definitely can compare them to, but they do have kind of that U.S. power metal sound as well. Um, they, of course, uh, Battle Raider were formed in 2010, and so far, uh, like again, they only have two albums out, uh, Battle Raider being uh, the second album, and the first album being Hard Flyer, which I had checked that album out before actually getting into this album, which I have given the, the Battle Raider uh, second album uh, at least some samples or so, but I never really uh, checked them out before, so I went again, went and checked out the first album, Hard Flyer, and... I don't know. It, w it was all right. It definitely was very progressive, very uh, like you know, very proggy and such. But it just felt that it was more uh, really emphasis on uh, really atmosphere and stuff, and not really on what I kind of want to hear in my progressive metal. However, uh, come to the second album. Everything's rectified. This is a way better album than the debut, and there's at least only one uh, re-recording, and that's being the song Hard Flyer, and it's definitely way better on the sound. The production is much more of a step up. Uh, even the singing is a uh, better, which the singer has definitely, uh, to me, if you were to take Tim Baker of uh, Sierra Thungle and uh, Lizzie Borden and uh, even John Art of uh, Fate's Warning and just slap them together. That's basically what, what you end up getting here. And in a way, it just has that sort of feel, the, the, just that metal blade, uh, metal sound that you got from like the 1980s. Uh, so there's a bit of Omen maybe in there you'll hear. You'll hear a bit of like maybe some uh, early Lizzie Borden. You'll hear uh, some Fates Warning. You'll hear... Uh, you just hear quite a bit of that in here, and that's basically some of that, uh, like songs such as uh, Flying Fingers, Battle Raider, uh, Hard Flyer, Atlanteans of Gold, uh, Early Fantasy, uh, even the um, the instrumental on here, uh, Tartan Piper Alpha, and of course, uh, even the very progressive song on the sound that's pretty much uh, clocking in like 9 minutes and 27 seconds uh, called Commander. It's a very proggy song on this sound, and it's probably the elephant on the sound. Actually, no. We'll get to actually the actual elephant on this album. But it is definitely a great track. And it's definitely one of the better, uh, better written, longer songs than on anything on the debut. Uh, just from its uh, very melodic, uh, acoustic moments to its very hard, heavy moments to even its uh, very speedy moments and stuff. Uh, to even back to being almost kind of atmospheric, but a way it just blends it in, uh, in a much better way than anything off the debut. But e e each track, at least uh, from at least Flying Fingers all the way up to the song uh, uh, Tartan Piper Alpha, everything is just hard hitting and stuff, and pretty much the more experimental kind of tracks are kind of left to the end. Which brings us to the very last song, which is the elephant on the album to me, is a course called. A su su uh, prayer, S um, <laughs> butchering maybe it. I don't know. This is a very interesting track. It's not electric sounding. It's very much has a power metal feel to it. It's very kind of progish in its way. It's not a long song. It's like at like six uh, minutes and forty four seconds, but. Instead of being electric guitar bass, it's more acoustic, but the acoustic guitar playing is more uh, in the electric guitar kind of uh, notes and riffs and that, but it's all in acoustic drums, bass, and everything. It plays like a, a, your typical power metal song, 
but it's got more like an acoustic guitar feel to it. It's like, instead of electric, it's acoustic, but still playing in this sort of uh, power metal way. And it's very interesting of a track. And, and of course, it, it kind of brings me to another comparison, which would probably be like, what, Man of War? Probably, and of course, um, Battle Raider also seemed to get compared to Man of War. And I didn't never really, really got it as much, but more thinking about it, this is the only track on here that I really can pinpoint them to like the comparisons to like uh, Man of War has that. And it's just very interesting. And it's kind of inter even again, it's very interesting to even end the album on this kind of track. But either way, it's actually not bad, uh, just just different, but in a way, it kind of works. So with that, um, with all the good things of the sound, it's finally get to the rating, uh, just a solid 8 out of 10. It's definitely a good album, it's definitely an improvement over the debut, uh, and it's just good. Uh, I definitely do uh, like to see some more from this band. I know that this band is definitely going to be very uh, experimental. They're not your typical uh, new wave or traditional heavy metal band. They're definitely one I can definitely can see that it's definitely going to experiment quite a bit, just like how Ram is. They're just going to experiment, experiment, experiment uh, with each time. And again, that's all I definitely want to see from this band and see what, what they'll do. So... Uh, if you haven't even heard of these guys, I'll definitely link you to them, uh, to the Bandcamp page, the Fighter Records, um, from there, uh, same label that Belido is on. Uh, I'll definitely link you to there. But if you have checked this album out, then we, uh, definitely let me know what you think. So, until then, that's everything. Ugh, wow, I'm getting tongue-tied. Uh, this will be the last review, of course, uh, for 2017 until January. So, um, I'm on to other stuff. So, until then, this is Heavy Thrasher, say I'm out. See you again. We're all here soon. Take care.